Hi, it's Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory, as always, be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekak All right, which is the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew. Okay? Uh, I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who rule well in peace, love, and salutations to the elect that are striving with diligence, all right, to receive salvation, man, to receive the crown, all right? Um, <clears throat> you know, we're, we're, we're in the time, man, of this, uh, of this good news being spread, okay, this gospel being spread, but in order to understand the good news, uh, one, mu one must understand the bad news, okay? We've got a lot of error uh, throughout the planet Earth, a lot of error throughout the world of people not understanding the bad news, okay? And therefore, you know, there's a lack of understanding in the good news, there's a lack of understanding in the gospel, okay? But I'm going to start off by reading this verse, and then, uh, you know, we're going to go through a couple things, and then, you know, get back into uh, into the scriptures. But right here is Sanket Ezra's chapter 4, and uh, verse 23. And it says, For it was not my mind to be curious of the high things, but of such as pass by us daily, namely, wherefore Israel is given up as a reproach to the heathen. Okay, now this is... Uh, this is the account of Ezra speaking to uh, speaking to uh, Ariel, the angel, okay, being revealed uh, many prophecies, okay, and he was replying to the angel, telling him, you know, that it's not his mind trying to uh, trying to trying to break down everything, trying to receive everything, you know, because all we need is what's what's expedient, what's needed for uh, salvation, man, um, you know, but uh, but you know, saying right here. You know, the, the main thing, you know, that he was touching on was Israel has been given up as a reproach to the heathen. Okay, the heathen have uh, have uh, received Israel. They've received their land. They've received the people. Okay, and therefore, uh, you know, Israel is, uh, has been cast as the dung of the earth, you know, throughout all the prophecies. And they wouldn't be restored until the second coming of the Messiah. All right. But, you know, this is the bad news. Okay, this is, this is the bad news that we're reading. Okay, Israel was cast off. The promises were for them. Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 6. They were set up above all people to be uh, uh, rulers over the planet Earth. But because they fell off, man, uh, uh, they were given as reproach to all the heathen. Okay, now what you have through that sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, you have the elect are, are able to receive this truth. And not only the elect, but many were called, but few were chosen. Okay, many Israelites are able to receive this knowledge, man. They're able to receive this truth. They're able to receive... Uh, uh, understanding of the gospel, okay? And, you know, with that being said, man, you know, they're, they're coming together and, and Yahweh is creating this governing body, okay? Just like I was saying, quoting Deuteronomy 7 and 6, that, uh, you know, they're set up to be rulers over the planet Earth. They fell off. So this governing body is being reformed through the elect of Israel, okay? As broken down in Romans 12, Romans 9, all right? And, you know, we're going to get into more... Um, but, you know, step by step. It says, uh, And what cause the people whom thou hast loved is given over unto ungodly nations, okay, into the planet Earth, throughout all the nations, okay? And, and chiefly, that chief nation being America, okay? Broken down in, in, in the scriptures as uh, uh, the, the Sanket Babylon, okay? Uh, uh, you know, many examples. The Sanket Egypt, all right, the... Uh, the Sanket Sodom, the Sanket Gomorrah, okay, because all the laws that are established throughout the entire planet Earth begins here in America, man. They've, they've, they've spread their Western expansion, has hit the four corners of the planet Earth. And all these nations have become more Westernized, okay, accepting things, uh, you know, as far as homosexuality, okay, uh, uh, different gender identifications, um, you know, the list goes on and on. Democracy, okay, the, pretty soon here, the RFID chip, Okay, which which is already being used. It's already being implanted by different businesses. Okay, so pretty soon, you know, your 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 bosses, in order to keep a job, you're gonna have to have that chip, man. A lot of people they they made them. Uh, you know, me being an example, my bank just cut off my card, and and you know I wasn't able to make any purchases. And then when I called them, they said that they sent me a new one. That's why. So they just cut it off. So I had to use that new one, and which I didn't even have yet. You know. Uh, but but it was that uh, the the new card with the chip inside of it, you know. So 
a lot of people are just going to, they're, they're going to make it mandatory. There's going to be no way around it. You're not going to be able to f function in society without that chip. Okay. And that's, that's being spread here in America, man. Um, it says, uh, and for what cause the people are, uh, that thou hast loved are given into ungodly nations and why the law of our forefathers is brought to naught, and the written covenants come to none effect, right? The law of our fathers and the written covenants, because the covenant going back to Deuteronomy seven and six, and really all throughout the scriptures, man, the covenants were written for Israel. Okay. Let's get a, a quick example of that out of the book of Romans, uh, chapter nine. This is Romans nine and one. Uh, actually I'll start at verse, uh, verse two. It says that I may have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish that I myself were accursed from Hamashayak for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. Okay, that, that he would have took up that curse of being being crucified for his brethren and his kinsmen according to the flesh. Because when you go into the prophecies, okay, it tells you that it's a curse to be uh, uh, hung on a tree. Okay, when you go into Galatians, I believe it's the second chapter, you know, it tells you how that was a curse for him to be crucified in that manner. All right. Uh, now going on to verse four. All right. And you see how it says my, for my brother and my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Okay. Now let's get to the main point. Verse four, it says, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises. Whose are the fathers and whom as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all Yahweh blessed forever. Aman. Okay. So showing you right here that those promises, those covenants, all those things were given to Israel, but they've come to naught, man. This is that bad news. They've come to naught. They've been put down. Okay. Now let's get an example of a, of a lack of understanding uh, of the uh, of the gospel. Okay. Of the of the of the bad news, and therefore a lack of understanding of the good news. All right. That's why the scripture says to take in the whole scroll, man. You got to read. The entire scripture, the entireties of the scriptures, the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Apocrypha, all right, which contains the uh, the Greek the Greek captivity. Okay, there's a there's a hole within the scriptures without that Apocrypha, and the way that you tell if a scripture doesn't fit, man, is if there's a uh, uh, if there's things that contradict uh, the New and the Old Testament, man, and you know the Apocrypha is beautiful because there's many accounts of, uh, of 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 Revelation being broken down word for word. Things that are written in Revelations that are in the Apocrypha. Okay? And that was written aforehand. So showing you, man, it just fits right in like a puzzle. All right? But going on, it says, uh, this, is, this is what this guy said. All right? Uh, and he's a Calvinist. Okay? So a Calvinist is, is it's, it's a Christian, you know, grape juicer. I like to call him a grape juicer because when you go into those Christian churches, they give you, hand you over that grape juice to drink. Um, but that the only difference between him and your average uh, uh, grape juicer man is that they believe that salvation is only for the elect, but they believe that the elect will consist of all nations, Edomites, you know, Chinese, you know, which there's going to be Israelites that are scattered throughout all nations, according to the scripture. But, you know, it's not written for the unnatural Gentile. Okay. You have two forms of Gentile. You have the natural Gentile and the unnatural Gentile. Uh, or forgive me, it's not written for the natural Gentile who would be, you know, those who go back to the 18 nations. There's 18 nations written within the scripture, one of those nations being the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? If you don't go back to the 12 tribes of Israel, there is no promise for you. and You won't be able to understand this truth. Okay? That's, that's the, the number one uh, thing to tell if you're, if you're a member of Israel or not, is if you could understand the truth, man. Of course, two-thirds... Many of the two thirds aren't going to be able to receive it no matter what, because they've been blinded according to the prophecies. But, uh, but yeah, going on, you know, this is what he said. You have a, uh, uh, have a misunderstanding of what the scripture teaches. You know, no scriptures to back it up. All they could come at you with was ac is with accusations, man. That's what they came at uh, Yahweh Shai and the disciples with was accusations. They had nothing, uh, no scriptures, nothing to support their claims other than accusations. All right. So I just simply asked him, you know, how so? How, how, how do I have a lack of understanding of the scriptures, you know? Because the spirits revealed these things to me. I didn't pick it up and reveal it to myself. All right. Um, you know, and he came back and said, what has been written for the Jews and Gentiles both, or what has been written is for the Jews and Gentiles both. So, you know, I came back at him and asked him this question. Then please describe this verse. Okay. And this one, they never are able to break this down. Uh, Jeremiah 30 and 11. It says, for I'm with thee saith Yahweh to save thee 
though I make a full end of all nations whither I have scattered thee. All right, so remember what we were reading right here. Um, going back to uh, Sanket Esdras, chapter 4, I believe it was about verse 22 or something like that. Um, yeah, here it is, verse 23. Uh, I'm just going to jump down to the main point. Uh, starting right here after uh, namely it says wherefore Israel is given up as a reproach to the heathen and for what cause the people ha ha that uh, that thou hast loved is given over unto ungodly nations so given over to all these ungodly nations man who have been uh, uh, given the cup of America America's polluted the entire planet earth with their philosophies and wickedness okay with their ungodliness all right so I'm um, going back it says, though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee. Okay, so these nations are going to be beaten down, man, and, and, and destroyed. And the nation of Israel is going, to, is going to reign over all. All right, going back to me speaking about that governing body, that governing body which is being established here right now, man. That governing body is being established here on the planet Earth to rule over all these, all these nations. Okay, they're getting, being beat down, trodden down. All right, <clears throat> continuing, it says, but I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished all right so you know clearly showing you know how he chose israel man and how all these nations are going to be bashed down okay there's no getting around that all right but and if all nations are going to be bashed down then how are these nations going to receive salvation man how are these nations going to be a governing body over the planet earth when it's only for israel all right um going on you know i told him this is the most high a liar did he change his mind? Doesn't the scripture say that Israel has been scattered to all nations? And this is, you know, this is what he came back with. No scriptures, no nothing. You have not shown me a scripture saying the Bible is not for the Gentiles. And you're not going to find a scripture that specifically says, I mean, you might find some, you know, like the scripture saying, go to the Jew and not the Gentile, you know, but, uh, but, but the reason, the reason why, you know, going back to, you know, the, the John 3.16 or, um, the, the last couple verses of uh, the book of Matthew, all right, the last chapter, the last couple verses telling you to go to all nations is because right here it clearly says, uh, I make a full end of all nations where I have scattered thee. So they've been scattered throughout all nations. So they got to hear this, man. You're going to have brothers waking up in China, brothers waking up in, in East Africa, all right, brothers waking up in India. Okay, we got camps all over the world, man. This is global. Okay, this governing body is being established. All right, it goes back to... Uh, uh, Isaiah the 11th chapter starting at the 11th verse on through okay you know what matter of fact let's go ahead and grab it let's go ahead and grab it real quick Isaiah 11 and 11 it says and it shall come to pass actually I want to go up to verse 10 it says and in that day there shall be a root of Jesse okay because Yahweh came out of the loins of Jesse he came from that from that family tree okay his father was his, or uh, Jesse had a son, then he, he had a son, and went all the way down through Yahweh Shai. Okay. Which shall, not, shall stand for an ensign to, of all the people, to it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be rebellious. So let's see who these Gentiles are that it's speaking of. Okay, the prodigal son. It says, verse 11, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people which be left from Assyria. Okay, so they've been brought up in these, in these Gentile state of mind. Okay, throughout all these different lands being brought up as Assyrians. All right, going on, it says, and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. So throughout the entire planet of the earth, okay? It says, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall, in, so for the nations, all right? Because out of these nations, the, the, the scattered Israelite is going to return, man. And that's the good news. That's, that's the gospel, man. That's the good news. How's the good news to any of these other nations who have been living fat, man? It's good news to the Israelites that were cast down and told that they were going to be destroyed. All right. It's not hard to understand. Okay. But for somebody who's just been blinded or a heathen who just simply is not an Israelite, there, there's no way they're going to get it, man. All right. Verse 12, it says, um, continuing, it says, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. Right. The outcasts. They've been, they've been scattered throughout all the nations. Counted as outcasts. It says, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth, and the envy also of a frame shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. A frame shall not envy Judah. All right. So speaking about the northern and the southern kingdom, 
so-called Latinos and the so-called Native Americans and the so-called Negroes all coming together as one, man. This governing body being brought together. Okay? It says, um, And Judah shall not vex Ephraim, but they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines toward the west and shall spoil them in the east altogether. What did the prophecy say in Jeremiah 30 and 11? It said that, that he will make a full end of all the nations whither he have scattered thee. And this is the account that you're reading of it, man. It says, they shall spoil them in the east altogether. They shall lay their hand upon Edom, all right, the so-called Caucasian, and Moab, the so-called Chinese, and the children of Ammon, the so-called Japanese, shall obey them. All right, they're going to be beat down, beat into subjection, okay? Uh, going into Revelation. Let's go ahead and grab that too real quick. Revelation 2 and uh, verse 25. It says, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. All right, let's see, let's see what they're going to do to these nations. All right, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken down into shivers, even as I have received from my father. Okay, so they're going to be broken down. It's just like a uh, you take a pot and you throw it and break it into a million pieces, man. That's what's going to happen to these nations. Going back to the prophecy, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 11. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, let's grab uh, let's grab the book of Daniel, okay? Because the book of Daniel speaks about all these different rulers that are gonna that are gonna come uh, across the entire planet Earth. So let's go ahead and grab the book of Daniel. I believe the seventh chapter is what I'm looking for. So just bear with me for a second. Yep, this is it. So let me go ahead and jump down. Uh, verse 9, and I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The thrones, what are the thrones? All these different nations, man. All right. And the Ancient of Days did sit, right? The Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh, whose name is Yahweh. It says, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head was white like pure wool. Okay, so, you know, throwing down that false image that they put up, that they portray as the Heavenly Father. Okay, put up in the, uh, put up in the, the Roman cathedrals. Okay. Um, going on, it says, um, it says his throne was like a fiery flame. So all these different nations' thrones will be cast down in order to establish the nation of Israel, man. Underneath Yahweh, underneath Yahweh Shai, and the elect, all right, that governing body. Okay, now continuing, it says, his throne was like a fiery flame and his wills were as a burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Ten thousands and thousands ministered unto him. I represent the elect and the one third of Israel who will receive salvation, all right? And ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were open. I, I beheld then because of his voice of the great words which the horn spake, all right? That horn being America, okay? That chief wicked nation, the last nation that will be destroyed for the planet Earth or uh, for the nation of Israel to be established, okay, over the planet Earth and, and order to be reestablished, man. The, the balance of proper order to be put back here on the planet Earth. Okay, you walk around, you get all kinds of nasty smells of aromas. Can't even let your kids play in the street, man. This place is destroyed, all right? So, so it has to just be rebooted. It's just that simple, man. But uh, continuing, it says, uh, it says, as concerning, oh, uh, forgive me, uh, go, going on in verse 11, it says, I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame, all right? That beast being America, NATO, and the EU, all right? That what is now the governing body over the planet Earth, okay? Um, you have Russia standing up against them, all these different nations standing up against them, okay? Which Russians are also Edomites, all right? But just like you have the Romans and the Greeks, so you have the uh the the americans and and the russians the two chief players man and these russians are going to be destroyed too okay do not be deceived man these russians ain't nothing special either they're going to be they're going to be bashed down just like just like america all right but continue yeah that burning flame okay the, the that thermonuclear war okay which which you know one of the chief players in that is going to be russia all right but continuing it says as concerning the rest of the beasts they had their dominion taken away right all nations will be cast down. Yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. They're, but they're not going to be utterly destroyed like Esau eat them. All right? According to the book of Obadiah, according to all the scriptures, Esau is going to be destroyed forever, man. 
even going into the New, New Testament, 2 Thessalonians. It says, uh, I saw in the night vision and beheld one like unto the Son of Man. Okay, so we just we just read about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Now it's saying one like unto the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, came with the clouds of heaven. And, and this, this breaks the whole Trinity doctrine. Okay, they're not just, it's not one one being. Okay. And, and really, you know, we're all of one body, man. We're all together in this. Okay. The elect and Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. All right, through that Holy Spirit, okay, that, that what binds us, okay. But uh, continuing, it says, it says, uh, one like unto the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, okay, and they brought him near before him. So Yahweh Shai came to Yahweh. He was brought to Yahweh. It says, and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people nations and languages should serve him. This is when righteousness is going to be reestablished, man. It says, his dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away in his kingdom, which shall not be destroyed. Okay, so that's that everlasting kingdom. That's that everlasting dominion. That's the kingdom which will, shall never, ever be destroyed. Okay, which as we're getting through the scriptures is going to consist of the elect of Israel. Okay, because they fell off. The bad news again, man. The bad news is that they fell off. All right. Let's go ahead and actually I want to jump I want to jump into the good news. All right, I want to jump into the good news real quick to get that understanding. Romans 8, man, one of the most beautiful chapters in the scripture. All right, but I want to specifically jump on this uh, 12th verse. It says, therefore, brethren, we are debtors. Okay, why are we debtors? Because we were cast off, man. We were counted to be destroyed. We were counted as sheep to the slaughter. Okay, it says not to live after, not to, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh, all right, so we're not debtors to the flesh, is going on verse 13, it says, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die, but if ye live through the spirit, do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live, okay, so Yahweh Shai came and was that sacrifice for the elect to, to give them forgiveness for what they have done, okay, that's the good news, man, because according according to uh, what we're just reading out of St. Esdras, let's go ahead and jump back to it. Thank you, Ezra's. Let's get to, uh, let's see, where were we? 4 and 23. All right. It says, Wherefore Israel, you know, jump back down to the main point again. Wherefore Israel is given up as a reproach to the heathen, and for what cause the people whom thou hast loved is given unto ungodly nations. Okay? They were, they were counted as those sheep to the slaughter. Okay? But that sacrifice was made in order for them to return, in order for them to be forgiven for the things in which our forefathers have done and for the things which we have done. All right. So it doesn't give you permission to sin, man. It gives you, uh, it gives you a forgiveness of sins, but it doesn't give you a license to sin. Because what did we just read out of uh, Romans 8 and 13? It said, we mortify the deeds of the body. So this is that John 3 and 16. Okay. Because, because he loved he loved the world. Because honestly, if, if there was no nation of Israel, man, this whole place should just be destroyed, gone forever. But he had mercy upon Israel. Therefore, the world will not be completely and utterly destroyed. All right. Now going on, uh, continuing, it says, And for what cause the people that thou hast loved is given over unto God, ungodly nations, and why the law of thy forefathers, of our forefathers, is brought to naught. And the written covenants have come to none effect, and we pass away out of this world as grasshoppers, and our life is in an astonishment and fear, and we are not worthy to obtain mercy. That's right, we are not worthy to obtain mercy, but Yahweh saw it otherwise, man. Yahweh counted the elect worthy to obtain mercy, and therefore all of Israel to obtain mercy, because they all will be dwelling in the kingdom according to Revelation 21. All right, now going on, it says, verse 25, what will he then do unto his name, whereby we are called? Right, because he put his name on us, okay? He put his name on, 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 on Israel. Uh, going on, it says, um, and, and we just got the examples of what he's going to do. What he's going to do for his name, man. What he's going to do for his people, all right? And this is, it says, of these things have I asked. So Ezra was asking. Okay, he was asking, and, 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 and his answer is written 
throughout the New Testament, okay? The New Testament was for the reforming of, of Israel, okay? That governing body under Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, all right? Waharakakwadash, okay? The Holy Spirit, which gives us this understanding, all right? Verse 26, then answered he me and said, the more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hasteth fast to pass away. Right, the world, the world is, is hasting fast to pass away and be destroyed. But Yahweh had mercy upon Israel. Okay, so the, 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 the world will continue, but the wicked, Esau, Edom, will be destroyed and these nations will be beaten to subjection. All right, verse 27. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's actually about good on that. Now, let me go ahead. Let's go ahead. I want to finish it off with Revelation chapter 19. Okay. Chapter 19 and 1. And I want to once again I want to go I want to finish off what this goddamn idiot was uh was trying to say, okay? You have not shown me any scriptures on the Gentiles. So you know, then then I continue going on, you know, cuz you can't just go you can't go back and forth with these guys, man. If they have a lack, lack of spirit, they're not going to have any understanding. So I wasn't even going about to say anything, but I wanted to leave them off with this. It says if you read verse 9 and 10 in Jeremiah clearly shows that it's talking about Israel, which, you know, clearly does, who will be saved. And on the 11th verse, it clearly says, all nations will be destroyed. What about Romans 9, which we just got? You, you Calvinists like so much, you know, they like that Romans 9 because it tells you it's only for the elect clearly, but it clearly tells you that it's only for the elect of Israel, okay? No matter how much Esau wants to get in the back door, man, they can't. It ain't for him. This is the first couple verses explain that the sacrifice, crucifixion was only for Israel. And then I, I left him with this last uh, precept, which I, which I wanted to grab. It says, uh, Psalms 147 and 19 through 20, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And, his, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. Okay, so praise ye Yahweh. Okay, he's, he's, he's given his commandments, his promises, his covenants to the nation of Israel. He hasn't forgotten us, man. He hasn't forgotten us in, in all this persecution in which we suffer. And that's why it's important to, to keep your head up in this, in, this, uh, in this captivity, man. Keep your head up in this place, okay? Keep your head up while we're under these curses. Because we know, all right, the elect, all right, me being a hopeful member, all right, the brothers out there pushing, being hopeful members, we know that Yahweh has not forgotten us, man. We know that he's hearing our prayers, man. Otherwise, how would we even how would we even know that name, man? It's just beautiful, all right. And he's not a liar that he would just go and change his mind. Okay, he's not man that he would just change his mind. All right. Now look, I want to uh, end it with this verse through the Spirit. It says, Revelation 19 and 1. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, which means all praises to Yahweh salvation and glory and honor and power unto unto the master our 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 power for true and righteous are his judgments for he hath judged the great whore which did did corrupt the earth with her fornication okay be in america all right and it says and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand and again they said hallelujah and her smoke rose up forever and forever for uh, for a testimony into what happens, man. And what happens when you come against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and, the, and, the, and Israel, okay? Um, verse 4. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped Yahweh that sat on the throne. All right, and we were just reading that out of the book of Daniel. Yahweh that sat on the throne saying, Aman, Hallelujah. Okay, what did, what did uh, the book of Daniel say? All right, thousands and thousands ministered unto him. All right, that's, this is what they're going to be saying. All right, uh, verse 5. And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our power, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard as it were a voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters. Okay, this is that elect. And as the voice of mighty thundering saying, Hallelujah, for... For the master power um, omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come. What's the marriage of the Lamb? 
Okay, that's that's Yahweh Shai, all right, receiving his glory that we were just reading about, and the elect being binded unto him. Okay, it says, and his wife hath made herself ready, and that's the elect. And we're going to continue. It's going to tell you who, who that wife is. Verse eight, and to her it was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints, and he saith unto me, Right blessed are they which are called unto the marriage of the supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of Yahweh. Verse 10, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am not thy fellow servant, and, or I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's why, you know, these, these all these different doctrines out there, they can't stand up against prophecy, man. Because prophecy is the center of the doctrine. Prophecy is the testimony of Yahweh Shai. All right. And with that, you know, Lord willing, that's edifying, man. Um, say, call halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone. I rule well in peace, love, and salutations to the elect that are striving to receive this crown, man. Defending the gospel and edifying the elect. All right, because that's what it's all about is the elect, okay? And specifically the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American who will receive mercy, man. And that's the good news. This is the good news. And that's how you understand the good news is through the spirit and the understanding of the, of the bad news. All right? Shalom.